Karen. Mike Ortiz says it is nothing short of a miracle that his friend was found alive, but he's now facing the unknown as he recovers from surgery today. There is a vehicle. It is pretty badly damaged. I'm trying to get down to it. It's going to be on the western side of the bridge. Broadcastify.com capturing the moment's first responders caught sight of Matt Reams' truck mashed and mangled underneath an I-94 overpass in Indiana. The male's conscious breathing. Reams still alive after telling police he'd been trapped there for days, unable to call for help. His phone just out of reach. The damage so bad it took authorities hours to remove him from his vehicle. Matthew is a great guy, always smiling, coming to work in a joyful mood. Um, he's a hard worker too, great welder. Um, there's not enough good things to say about the guy. Reem's friend Matt Ortiz says the Good Samaritan fishermen who first found Reem were there at the right moment. Ortiz knows one of them personally, Mario Garcia, growing up with his children. There was a, ch a touch of luck there, but it was definitely God that, that brought him to the right place. Ortiz worked with Reem as a fellow union boilermaker, going from job to job. Reem, a talented welder, Ortiz says, who's now facing the unknown. Our tradesmen, our union brothers, even from other crafts, I hope everybody gets together and help him, helps him out. Uh, he lost his leg, and uh, I just hope that uh, they kind of look at how our careers go and that he may need some support at this moment. According to the Boilermakers Local 374 Union, Reem had to have his left leg amputated today from the shin down due to his injuries in the crash. But Ortiz says Matt is not a man you can keep down for long. He'll bounce back from this, and he'll continue to go on his hikes and his runs and adventure. He won't stop. Reams Union issuing a statement today as well, saying in part, quote, we are thankful Matt is alive and grateful for the men who found him. Matt's strong will and toughness speak volumes through this ordeal. And it is just an incredible story of survival and of people ready to help in the right place at the right time. We have posted a link to a GoFundMe sent out by Matt's union with this story on our website. But seriously, just incredible that he is he is alive and, and is recovering at this point. We were Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.